It's a hat-trick goal for Andy Johnson. Clint Dempsey, it's another Clint Dempsey hat-trick for Fulham. The Grudniak off balance, still able to get the match ball of his hat-trick. Josh McCormick goes round him, it's going to be 4-3. Oh, what a way to finish the season. Ross McCormack with a hat-trick. And when you finish like that, Jamie, I mean, I mean nobody in the world, no striker in the world is, uh, is going to do that any better. He makes it look so easy. This is Moussa Dembele. Linking with Zamora. Dembele wants more. Good effort. It's come to Johnson. Fantastic start for Fulham. Inside 90 seconds. He scored two goals in Europe on Thursday. He is off the mark in this Barclays Premier League campaign and it's first blood to Fulham in this West London derby. Risa. Clint for Zamora, now it's Dempsey. Clint Dempsey came off Ferdinand. Johnson! A typical poacher's goal for Andy Johnson. It's his second, it's a third before half-time here for Fulham. And will it be their first league win this season? A smile for the manager and relief for Ryan Craven Cottage. Murphy for Johnson! It's a hat-trick goal for Andy Johnson. Queen's Park Rangers caught napping. His first hat-trick for seven years. Quite a day for Johnson. A fantastic day for Fulham. Gutierrez. Not by Hangeland. Super play by Johnson, he's got Zamora alongside him, he's still going. Here's Bobby Zamora, still Zamora, super play from Fulham and in it goes! The best move of the match ends up with a Fulham lead by two goals to one. Well, it's the two up front that make it a game. And Zamora looks so different when he's got a partner, doesn't he? Cushion had it down by Johnson. Here's Clint Dempsey, he's in and he scores again. From behind into a 3 1 lead. A second for Clint Dempsey. Well, it's an amazing turnaround, and you have to say it's just by going two up front. Again, Andy Johnson starts it off because he simply holds the ball up at the, at the beginning of the movement. It's a great finish by Dempsey. Zamora over the top, can Dempsey get in here, he's on a hat-trick, you know. Clint Dempsey, it's another Clint Dempsey hat-trick for Fulham. The American milks the salutes, and that really is that. Fulham 5, Newcastle United 2. Zamora dinks it over the top, a run from deep, gets it headed in his stride. Colacini doesn't want to break, bring him down, give away a... A free kick, and that's a great strike across Krul again. Look at this for a finish. Classic finish. In from Duff. And in from Pogrebniak. Three and three for him. He becomes the first player in Fulham history to score in his first three games for the club. And they have finally the deserved breakthrough. Well, that's a great header from Bob Rebignac. This has now become the 24th consecutive Premier League match without a clean sheet. It could get worse as Pogrebniak makes the most of the mistake. It's Johnson, it's 2-0 and it's that man again, Pavel Pogrebniak. And as has been the case so many times this season, Wolves are the architects of their own downfall. Awareness from Johnson, he runs it to the bottom, a great cutback, and what a finish, right foot. Sits nicely for him, it's Dempsey that closes down, he had a good position to start with, ready to counter-attack. 
This is Johnson cutting the ball back as the goalkeeper Hennessy just moves his feet across the goal. Brilliant goal from Fulham's point of view, not good from Wolves. Here's Andrew Johnson, spilt by Hennessy, Pogradniak off balance, still able to get the match ball in his hat trick. Embarrassingly easy for Fulham, and this is a Wolves performance of a completely desperate level. Well, Johnson makes a run, it's a ball over the top once again. Stearman doesn't deal with it, it's far too easy for Johnson to come inside him, Hennessy. Once again makes another mistake, should hang on to this, spills it out. Who's first to it? Well, Rebniak, two defenders don't react. Sums up both sides. I think we've got a goal in us here, is Ryan Tannicliffe to Hogland into the box for Ross McCormack, no. yes! He's given oh, it a penalty. I didn't yeah. think that one was. He's come so soon, he's bundled into him by Arla, but as you say, I think Ross is half happy to go down. Can Ross McCormack? Make it 2-0 to Fulham from the penalty spot. The Hammersmith end is on their feet. Sean's predicting he's going to go this side. Keeper's right hand side, but he oh. rolls the other way and he just <laughs> rolls it in. 2-0 to Fulham. Nonch, nonchalant. There's Kike on the ball now. And Bamford and Hutchinson of uh, uh, Michael Turner have run into each other, but uh, now a chance for Fulham to break. And Sean Kavanagh. For Ross McCormack inside right position up towards the edge of the box. Couple of step overs, just overran it, but he's still going. Hugo Rodriguez. That's the penalty. That's another penalty to Fulham. Yes. And he's, given it. he's given it. It was George Friend who's brought down Rodriguez. Ross McCormack again. Can he beat Constantopoulos? Make it 3 1 and restore Fulham's 2 0 lead. He goes the other way. Straight in. The Hammersmith enders are loving it. Defended well from corners, and it comes from Ledbitter, I think it is. Came off the head of. A Middlesbrough player, Adoma with the shot, but it bounces out. There's an empty goal for Ross McCormack from the halfway line. If he can just slide this one in now, the keeper's out of play. Ross McCormack goes round him. It's going to be 4-3. <laughs> oh, what a way to finish the season. Ross McCormack with a hat-trick. 4-3, Marcus Bettinelli has sprinted 100 <laughs> yards to the corner flag to celebrate. On the break, Ross McCormack with a hat-trick. I think that's they've all, three. That's they've got all the whole team's got to celebrate apart from Hoogland. Oh, that's got to be it now, Sean, surely. Got a cross in there. And Tim Ring comes and heads it back into the penalty area. Mitrovic, that's 1-0 to Fulham. They're looking across at the flag. Thankfully, it stayed down again this time. And that was a monster header from Tim Ring. Jamie, you were talking about Niskins Kibano. He managed to get the ball into the box from the left-hand side. It skimmed off a defender, if I remember rightly. It didn't fall for a Fulham player. Swansea got it clear, but Tim Ream with a really powerful header back into the box. Great control from Alexander Mitrovic. And we said he'd be uh, desperate to get a goal, Jamie, after missing that opportunity late on. And this is a great finish from him. His eighth championship goal of the season. Here goes Joe Bryant, maybe a former teammate of Smith's, down the left-hand channel. Finds Niskins Kibano. Early low ball. Mitrovic gets on it. It's 2-0. Absolutely mustered. 2-0 to Fulham. Alexander Mitrovic again. Great work from Niskins Kibano, Jamie. You couldn't have summed it up better when you said earlier in the game. He's so direct, the player. He makes things happen. He's got down to the byline, pulled it back. It was a low cross. Still had a bit to do, Mitro. It wasn't an easy finish. But he's got the absolute perfect angle on the, uh, the first-time effort. The keeper can do nothing about it. He's not been beaten by power, it's precision. It's the angle of the uh, effort from Alexander Mitrovic. Bobbled its way through to John Michel Seri. Finds Harry Wilson. Dekadova Re can pick out Dennis Adoy up towards the edge of the penalty area. Right hand side and Mitrovic, there it is. He didn't wait for the second half. It's in again, a first time finish. He's absolutely mustered. And that's a great goal from Fulham. We were defending in the left back position. And when you finish like that, Jamie, I mean, I mean nobody in the world, no striker in the world is, uh, is going to do that any better. He makes it look so easy. He's the governor. He really is, Jim. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Like a knife through butter again.